What up you guys, we're back at it again with another reaction video. What we got right here is a wonderful dialogue between a Christian, three Satanists, a Muslim, and a Hindu on whether or not they believe, one, that there is a such thing as good and evil, and two, if they're if they believe that Satan is evil and their reasons why. Uh, I believe that this is a great video that has a lot of value and if you believe so too as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that comment section up too as well and let me know your thoughts and what you believe as well and hit that like button because it helps the video get pushed out further. So I'm gonna stop talking, we're gonna go ahead and get into this dialogue, let's get in. I believe in good and evil. That's the Christian that is sitting down right now. His name is Sean. I have, in, as part of my own belief system, for sure, a, a, a conviction that that all of our hearts can, at some times, lead us to do um, acts of evil, and and um, so so I see it in the world around me, but on both sides. Well said. Really short. Really short. Yeah, I think the phrasing is something that's. With, uh, it's, it's a little bit catchy. It's just yeah. Yeah, it just sounds, I, mean, yeah. I believe in right and wrong, and I think some things for me, a lot of things lie in the gray area, but there are some things that I consider right and wrong, but I wouldn't say it's the same as good and evil. Right? That was beautifully said. That oh, was. Thank you. But yeah, no, I, I agree t with that, but I also believe that what is right and wrong has changed throughout history, this and it's, it's something where I don't know if everyday actions that I do right now are going to be considered evil later on like is driving a car going to be considered wrong i don't believe in an, in an evil entity who is you know pitchfork and horns and <laughs> looking like me with a goatee <laughs> you know that doesn't actually happen if you ask anybody throughout history they're always the hero of their own novel mm -hmm. okay i want to stop it right there one for copyright purposes and two i kind of want to um respond to what somebody had said that's very interesting the girl said um she doesn't necessarily believe that uh, there is a right and wrong she uh she thinks that what we think is right and wrong changes over time and I kind of understand where she's coming from, but I don't necessarily agree. I believe that what is right and wrong has always been right and wrong, no matter what point in history we are in. It's always been wrong to be a liar. It's always been a wrong to be. It's always been wrong to be a thief. Let me just slow down my, you know, that way I don't trip over my words. But it's always been wrong to be a thief. It's always been wrong to be a liar. It's always been wrong to be a murderer and a rapist. Um, and just because laws pass by man and say that, um, you know, this is right, doesn't mean that it's objectively right. It used to be right in America to own slaves, but now it's not anymore. Uh, so that's kind of an example to you of how laws change, but that doesn't mean that necessarily right and wrong changes. Throughout history, they're always the hero of their own novel. Mm -hmm. Completely. Even yesterday, I, w I went to the grocery store and there was one person who had like more than 10 packs of toilet paper. <laughs> and I do understand that- Toilet paper is not gonna save you. Yeah, that, <laughs> I, I do understand that he was like, he was being cautious and watching out for himself and his family. I just think the act of doing that is wrong because there were so many people hmm. who couldn't buy toilet paper, But to right? him, that was right. But because that, he was looking out for his family, probably. Yeah, so like, like, I said, like I'm saying that, I think the act is wrong, but I wouldn't say that he's evil. Like, unless he has IBS or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody that does repeat it wrong, like she said before, she doesn't believe necessarily in uh, good and evil. She believes in right and wrong. But what if somebody, okay, let me say this. There's a difference between being wrong and not being living. You know what I'm saying? To be alive and to be doing wrong continuously, that's what classifies you as evil. And if you're continuously doing good, then that's what makes you a righteous and upright person. Um, so somebody that continuously does wrong is considered evil. Somebody that continuously lies is considered a liar. And we associate lies with bad and wrong. It's wrong to lie. So um, a repeated offense begins to label somebody 
He's looking out for his family, probably. Yeah. So like, like I said, like I'm saying that. I think the act is wrong, but I wouldn't say that he's evil. Like, unless he has IBS or something. I don't know. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got so big? <laughs> <laughs> Some of the core beliefs of Hinduism is to believe in dharma, making sure that you have enough for yourself and also enough for other people. But Satan in Hinduism is like an assistant to God, is someone who can cause disruption, but that is more to for the benefit of human beings by and large. I believe Satan is evil. Of course the Christian is going to sit down. I'm surprised the Muslim is not I'm really surprised that the Muslim hasn't sat down because when you read the Quran, you kind of um, can get the idea that they think that Satan is evil. They just necessarily haven't made the connection that Muhammad is from Satan. Um, anybody that says that they're from God and sleeps with a nine-year-old is just obviously not from God. Uh, brother, uh, what's that? going on. I'm really surprised that the Muslim didn't sit down. Obviously, the Christian would sit down because when you read the Bible, you come to a clear understanding that Satan is evil and he's the cause of all the destruction in the world. Dude, why did you stop? Uh, it, I, don't, I was trying to play it out in my head, but then I realized I don't agree with that. And okay. So, yeah. Well, the fact that there is a, a, a Satan who is real and the fact that he is evil is, I mean, it's, it's an important, pretty central um, belief that we hold in the Christian faith and right. that there is a good and loving God and, and, a, and a Satan who is evil. Amen. So, <laughs> so let's go back to Genesis, okay? God wanted to keep humans from eating the fruit of knowledge, correct? And Satan or the serpent wanted to give humans that knowledge. I believe that's a good action. That is a good action. Hold up. She didn't really finish that, uh, the knowledge. It was the tree of not the knowledge of good and evil. Good and evil. Before, when you read the Bible, you understand that when God finished creation, everything was good. But when Adam disobeyed, it was that act of disobedience that led him into the knowledge of good and evil y'all get it if y'all don't y'all can go read y'all bibles y'all can go study back to the video that's a good action that's justifiable the first uh, person to advocate for equal rights yes we only heard god's perspective and from my perspective i mean just looking into the bible it's like we didn't hear satan's perspective maybe he said this is god is a tyrannical god and i'm going to rebel from him and i'm going to become a fallen angel to help mankind what Bro, what are you talking about? Okay, the Christian's face is kind of in disbelief. She's kind of misrepresenting the Bible. Um, Satan's position is actually clear when he's in the Bible. He's a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Um, in the beginning, he tried to go against God, saying that he can be higher than God. So he tried to overthrow God and try to be... Um, he thought he he just thought he was better than God and he tried to test God and God was like you're not that guy. God was like you're not that guy and he smacked him. Bow. And like lightning cut fell. Like lightning he fell, you feel me? That's that's what the Bible says. Not not exactly how I said it, but you know, y'all can go read it for yourselves. But yeah, she's definitely misrepresenting the Bible for sure. It's not looking exactly into the Bible, it's like says. we didn't hear Satan's perspective. Maybe he said, This is God is a tyrannical God, and I'm going to rebel from him, and I'm going to become a fallen angel to help mankind. My interpretation and understanding of that story is, is that God created an environment where he and it was an environment of love and peace and, and where his children that he created and who he loved, who he created in his image would- They were naked uh, and they didn't have understanding. Yeah, yeah, and that they would, this was an environment for them to- Hold up, hold up. They did have understanding. They just didn't know what evil was. They didn't know what wrong was. Um, and to not know what wrong is, 
you can't technically choose to do wrong if you don't have the knowledge of what evil is. Imagine not even being able to think about uh, murder and death and sickness. Just imagine not even knowing what that is. Imagine not even knowing what a lie is because you dwell in truth always. Like, do we not see how the world is right now? And the obvious destruction that has come because of Satan. Satan is obviously evil. Come on, man. I like this and, Christian and Sean. Where his children that he created and who he loved, who he created in his image would. They were naked uh, and they didn't have understanding. Yeah. yeah. Look and at Count Dracula. Were, this is an right environment here. for them to. So, to, wait, 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 I got it. Gotta, he doesn't really uh, truly uh, understand. Flourish. And so I feel he like. puts them in this environment and he desires for them to. to to, to flourish and to be and to live in 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 unashamed relationship with him and his perfection mm. and his glory Naked, and and, and, uh, and, and and stupid i see god making simple no. play things because he's bold it's not naked and stupid you have all knowledge of what truth is but you have no knowledge of what a lie is you have no knowledge of evil you only have the knowledge and the understanding of what is good and true and just and what is life and that was squandered by the temptation to understand what evil is and because man you know partook of that fruit god kicked them out of the uh out of the garden that way they wouldn't partake of the tree of life and stay in this state forever thank god for that that's an act of mercy by the way to 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 flourish and to be and to live in 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 unashamed relationship with him and his perfection and his glory Naked, and, 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 uh, and, and and stupid. I see God making simple playthings because he's bored. If it's real, then and simple saying, play Don't things. do this because I don't want you on my level. And if you do, I have to make sure you can't live forever, so you really don't get on my level. Would you think that if you heard that you're one of your friends what? was having a baby and, and you'd say, oh, you're just making a play thing for your... Depending that's different. Their that's different. Uh, but that, the but that, but there are some yeah. parents who there use their absolutely. kids yeah. as their play thing. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how I see the same generative love that that out of which god created us um i think <laughs> for me from um as much knowledge as, as i have off. about uh, satan i think satan is a symbol of freedom and liberty right mm -hmm. so that is not evil of course like we discussed before if people commit wrong deeds in the name of satan then that's wrong for me i was i flip flop a little only because i i don't think that on his own satan is Evil, I think it's, yeah. he's used to represent evil. Whether he does or not, he, that's what he's used for. His character is very much used to say, like, you do something wrong, like, oh, that's an act of, like, the devil, kind of. I wonder if that Muslim guy um, thinks that Muhammad sleeping with Aisha was an act of the devil. That's crazy. That's oh, crazy. Crazy. Oh, crazy. Oh, no, that was crazy. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was I'm just wondering. Back to the video. Satan <laughs> represents to me taking responsibility for your own actions. It says to thirst for knowledge, for understanding, to understand that man is an animal, sometimes worse than those around, but an animal nonetheless. Religion has caused more harm than good. So what does that mean? So what is the purpose of man then? Are we just here to be animals and just be the animal that we believe that we are and be as just savage as possible to um, to live the life that we want to live by our own urges and our own desires and our yeah this yeah was definitely interesting a whole lot of perspectives I do like that guy Sean uh, very calm cool collected there were a whole bunch of shots that were taken at his faith um, but I, I just like how he was really, really chill and responded really well. Um, I don't think that the Muslim guy really truly represented the Quran um, because when you read the Quran, uh, Muslim people will say that Satan is absolutely evil. Um, oh, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think in that comment section. Hit that subscribe button if you got value out of this like I got value out of this. And I'm going to catch you on the next reaction video. Peace out.